Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 15 from 2 to 2, we were dealing with the normal gases. So today, lesson 16, we want to proceed to the properties and trends across the period. And we are saying, as discussed earlier, elements in the same periods have the same number of occupied energy levels. As you move across the period, the number of electrons in the outermost energy levels increases by one while the elements in the same group exhibit similar properties. Those across the period show a gradual change in properties. And we are saying this can be illustrated, illustrated by considering elements in period 3 from left to right. And if we see this diagram, we are having position of period 3 elements in the periodic table. So we said the periodic table consists of 8 groups and also 7 periods. So this is period 1, period 2, and this is period 3. So we have the members of period 3 elements here. They are 8 in number. They are sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and also alcohol. We are saying the first 3 elements on the left of the period, that is sodium, magnesium, and also aluminium, show metallic properties. The last four elements on the right of the period, that's phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon, are rare metals. So they are going to show non-metallic properties. Between them is silicon, which displays both metallic and non-metallic properties. Because of this, it is called a metalloid or a semi-metal. In the same, chlorine and argon are gaseous at home temperature, while the other elements in the period 3 are solids. So, we have seen here, we are having 8 elements. So, 3 of them, that's sodium, magnesium, and aluminium, are metallic elements, while phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon are non-metallic elements. And we are seeing, we have here silicon, which is a semi-metal. Semi that means, we call it metalloid, because it shows both metallic and also non-metallic properties. So next, we are going to see trend in physical properties of elements in period 3. We start number 1, electrical conductivity, and we are going to use this setup. So this setup is used for testing electrical conductivity of elements. So from sodium all the way to argon. What we are going to do is, we are going to have our switch here and everything in the bulb, and we want to put the element being tested in the crocodile clip here. Here we are having magnesium ribbon. If you are dealing with sodium, we put it here. If you are dealing with aluminium, we are going to put it in the crocodile clip. So we are going to see. We are saying when the circuit is closed, sodium, magnesium, and aluminium allow an electric current to pass through and the bulb lights. This shows that they are good conductors of heat and electricity. So we are saying sodium, magnesium, and aluminium have delocalized electrons in their structure. These delocalized electrons are responsible for the conduction of electricity. So how do you know that whether you have a delocalized electron or not? First of all, you have to know the atomic number of the element. Next, you have to know how to write the electronic configuration of that element. For example, sodium is having an atomic number of 11 with an electronic configuration of 281. So if you want to know whether an element has delocalized electron or not, is that you check the number of electrons that you have in the last energy level. If you have one electron or two electrons or three electrons, that means you have a delocalized electron in that element. Saying sodium, magnesium, and aluminium have the localized electrons in their structure. These localized electrons are responsible for the conduction of electricity. Conductivity increases with increase in the number of localized electrons. So that means the more the number of localized electrons you have, the more the electric conductivity you have. So we're saying therefore, aluminium with three localized electrons in its structure has the highest electric conductivity. So during the exam, you can be told compare the electric conductivity of aluminium and magnesium. So we have to know first of all how do we write the electronic configuration for aluminium? 283. Then what about magnesium? 282. So which one is having more delocalized electron? It's aluminium. That means aluminium conducts more heat and electricity compared to magnesium because aluminium has more delocalized electron than magnesium. So if you are told to compare the electrical conductivity of magnesium and sodium, what we are going to see is that sodium is having, I mean magnesium is having a higher electrical conductivity compared to sodium because magnesium has more delocalized electron than that of sodium. But if you are talking about members of the same group, like for example, magnesium and also calcium, they have the same electrical conductivity because they have the same number of 
glockless electron in their structure. So we're saying conductivity increases with increase in the number of glockless electrons. Therefore, an ammonium with three glockless electrons in its structure has the highest electrical conductivity. So we're saying phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon are all made up of molecules and therefore are non-conductors of electricity. The reason why they are non-conductors is that they lack localized electron in their structure. If you just try to do their electronic configuration, they will not be having one, two, three electrons in the atom cell level. That means they lack the localized electron in their structure. So if there's no localized electron, there's no electrical conductivity. So that means those elements will be non-conductors of electricity. So we're saying silicon is unique among the elements because it's a semiconductor. And we're saying it is electrical conductivity increases with increase in temperature. That means when you're dealing with silicon, when you're dealing with low temperature, it becomes non-metals. When you're dealing with high temperature, it becomes good conductor. When you're dealing with the low temperature, it becomes poor conductor of heat and electricity or non-conductor. That's why we're saying it is electrical conductivity increases with increase in temperature. So next, we want to see the other physical properties. Kindly check the table very well. Okay, we are going to start one, the atomic radii of bureau 3 elements. And we are saying the atomic radii of the elements in bureau 3 decreases across the period from left to right or from sodium to argon. This is because or this is due to the increase in the number of protons while the nuclear charge increases across the period. So when you're dealing with the atomic radii of a period, it is opposite to the atomic radii of uh, a group. If you remember, we said the atomic radii of alkali, alkali earth metal, halogen, noble gases, all of them, they were increasing down the group. But when we're talking about a period, they are going to decrease across the period. So we're saying the atomic radii of elements in period 3 decreases across the period from left to right. Reason, this is due to the increase in the number of protons while the nuclear charge increases across the period. So number two, we are going to see the melting and the boiling modes of bureau 3 elements and we are saying sodium, magnesium and aluminium have giant metallic structure, therefore they have strong metallic bonds. These bonds require a lot of energy to break, hence high melting and boiling bonds. And we are saying note, details of structure and bonding are discussed in chapter 3. That means our forthcoming chapter which is the chemistry of structure and bonding. So we're saying aluminium has a higher melting and boiling bonds than magnesium and sodium. Why? If we compare the melting point of the metals, that's aluminium and magnesium, or magnesium and sodium, still we are going to check the the, the number of electrons in the atom cell level or the number of localized electrons. We're saying aluminium has a higher melting and boiling points than magnesium and sodium. This is because aluminium contributes three localized to the metallic lattice, whereas sodium contributes only one, or whereas magnesium contributes only two. Number two, also we are told due to the small size or due to the small atomic radius of the aluminium atom, the packing of the atoms is close. Therefore, the metallic bond in aluminium are stronger than that of magnesium and also sodium. So when we see, next we are having silicon, we see in silicon has a giant atomic structure in which all the atoms are held together by strong covalent bonds. These bonds need a lot of energy to break, hence the high melting and boiling bonds of silicon. So next we said in contrast to silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine are molecular, hence have low melting and boiling points. This is because the atoms in their molecules are held together by strong covalent bonds, but or while the molecules themselves are held together by weak van der Waal forces, which requires little energy to break. Hence they are going to have low melting and boiling points. So we're saying chlorine and argon exist as gases at room temperature. They have low melting and boiling points due to the presence of Van der Waal forces. Chlorine is a diatomic gas, while argon is monoatomic gas. Then, lastly, we are going to see ionization energy of bureau three elements. And if you see the ionization energy of alkali, alkaline earth metal, that side of halogen, where we say it's called electron affinity, and also the, no the noble gases, the ionization energy were all decreasing down the group. And the reason was due to the increase in the atomic size or due to the increase in the atomic radius. So when you check the ionization energy of bureau 3 elements, ionization energy in periods, they are going to increase across a period. Because the 
atomic ready of a period is decreased across the period. Due to that reason, the ionization energy increases across the period. So let's try to see. So we're saying here, the first ionization energy of period 3 elements increases across the period from left to right. Result, this is due to the decrease in the atomic radius or the atomic size as one moves from left to right of the period. So today, that's the end of the video. Thank you.